Hey, welcome to another one of our episodes. Today we got a real fun video we're going to do in this big easy oilless fryer. We're going to make beer can chicken in this fryer. Now the beer we've chosen is from Six Point Brewery. This is an IPA. IPAs, you know, you either love them or hate them, but they're full of flavor. And it's 9.1% alcohol by volume. So I hope you stay with me. I promise you this chicken is going to turn out juicy and moist. Now this first step is totally optional. I am going to inject this chicken with this Meat Church uh, chicken injection. Um, the only reason is, is I smoked some chickens yesterday and I made this up to use it in that video and I had a little bit left over, right? So I mean I don't want it to go to waste. Um, so if you want to know more about this injection, I'll put a link uh, in this video so that you can, uh, you know, see about the injection, uh, see how to make it, but I'm not going to repeat that here. And again, like I said, for this specific recipe, the beer can uh, chicken, this is just totally optional. I just don't want to waste it, what I had left over. So what I'm going to do is just get these uh, breasts injected all up. And, you know, if I have enough, I'll go ahead and do the thighs also. Um, but I'm more focused on the meat that will tend to dry out when it's cooking. And as soon as I get it all injected up, we'll be back and I'll show you how I'll season this guy. And now just for a binder, I'm just going to put a little oil on here. This happens to be Sang's oil, but you can use whatever oil you have. No need to go out and get this oil just to uh, use as a binder. Okay. So I'm just going to um, oil up both sides of this guy. And then uh, let me just get my hands wiped off. Now, to season it, I've chose this uh, Everglades fish and chicken. I've used this quite a few times. One of the reasons I like this in the Big Easy specifically is um, you want to make sure you don't have a high sugar content rub in this Big Easy because it'll burn the outside. And the ingredients of this guy, salt, spices, including paprika, dehydrated onion, and garlic sugar, papain. So, so you'll see sugar is way, way down on the ingredient list and you don't have to worry about the outside of this chicken uh, burning. So let's just get both sides of this guy seasoned up. And I should say, um, you know, before I even got this chicken out here and started the video, I did clean it, you know, rinse it off under cold water, cleaned the inside of it out, patted it dry with some paper towels. Um, so if you're interested, I did do that as well. This chicken, I don't know exactly how much it weighs. They came in packs of two and the pack of the two was like 9.9 .9 pounds. So it's, you know, almost a five pound chicken. They were pretty similar in size. Okay. All right, so we got this chicken um, seasoned up. Let me just get a little bit here on the side I missed. And as soon as I finish it, we'll get to the beer can part of this video. All right, so I'm gonna use this beer can kit today uh, for this big easy, and I'll show you why here in a minute, all right? And the beer I've chosen is this resin um, IPA. I'm told it's a good beer. I'm not an IPA drinker. I think this guy is 9.1% alcohol by volume. This one is warm, by the way. You don't want to use a cold beer because you want the evaporation, right, to start as soon as possible. So if it's cold, then, you know, you've got to uh, heat, heat it up before it can start evaporating. Okay? So, you know, it's foamed up, but... There's about, I can feel it here, there's about two-thirds of a can. This is kind of nice. It's got this little top to it. Um, you can see where the vent holes are in it so the evaporation. Okay, and then I'm just going to get this chicken on this bad boy, right? Okay. Quite nice. And I think I will touch it up just a little bit with the seasoning where it laid there on the uh, on the cutting board. Now the final step I'm going to do is just wrap these wing tips in foil. Again, <laughs> you know, it's just purely for a presentation. It'll help keep the wing tips from getting burnt. If you don't want to take the time to do it, I really wouldn't, you know, worry too much about that. But again, sometimes these wing tips, particularly in the Big Easy because it's hotter, right? They'll get kind of black on you. I mean, I don't even eat these. There's no meat there as far as I'm concerned, but you know. Okay. 
Now, let me get this Big Easy rack over here. Now, I do have this rack. It's been in the Big Easy preheat, and I always do that just to kind of sterilize it so it is hot. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is just let it cool down for, you know, five or six minutes so I don't burn myself, and then we'll move the chicken over in it. Okay, this basket's cooled down. All right. And now you can see why I chose to use this device um, instead of setting a, a beer can down in here. Because, you know, I was afraid the beer can would turn over. This is going to give me stability down in this basket. At least I hope it is. I've made lots of beer can chickens before, but this is the first time I've made one in the Big Easy. Okay. So it sits quite nicely there. So we're just going to move this guy over to this Big Easy and get her down in here. Now, it's, uh, I don't know the exact temperature today. It's probably 75 degrees here in Florida, 74 degrees somewhere in there. No lid. I don't want to burn the outside of this chicken. Um, I do preheat this uh, Big Easy anytime I use it. It's been running about 15 minutes. The heat's all the way on high. So um, we'll probably check on it in about 50 minutes, maybe an hour. It's been an hour and 13 minutes. Just check the chicken. It's 164 degrees. It'll come up another degree. Don't worry about that. Let's get this guy out of here. Yeah, just let this guy sit here for about 10, 15 minutes, enough for this basket to cool down and we don't uh, burn ourselves getting the chicken out. Okay, we've been resting here about 10 minutes. I think the basket's cooled down enough. We're going to try to get this chicken out without making a disastrous mess. Oh, look. I'm amazed how easily it came out. Okay. Let's take the foil off here and see if that worked. Yeah, look at that. Not all burnt up. Get the other one off. Chicken's still hot, I can feel it. All right, let me get this basket off and then we'll uh, get this basket out of the way and we'll try to get it out of there. We're gonna try to get this chicken off of here. Without tearing it up. There we go. Okay, there's our chicken. Now, I'm curious, if you're curious, this is pretty hot. Uh, maybe if it cools down some more, it's like burning my hands. You can see, I don't know if you can see it steaming. I was going to see how much beer was left in it. But um, I tell you what, let's try the chicken. We'll taste it. Skin turned out pretty good on it. Okay, and there's the chicken. I hope you can see that. It is just full of moisture, who knows, from the, from the injection or from the um, beer, okay? What we're going to do, oh, it is juicy. Just cut a piece off, get a piece of that skin that came off, and we're going to give it a taste test. Well, I can taste the beer. I was surprised. Maybe it's because it's the IPA. You know, IPA's got a very unique flavor. And I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm not an IPA um, beer person, but I like this flavor. Now, you do get the uh, uh, flavor from the injection, but I know what that is. That's a little different. Uh, I've done that in the pit barrel cooker also. Mmm. It's really good. I mean, it is super, super juicy. Hey, um, you should give one of these beer can uh, chickens a try if you've got one of these uh, Big Easy Oilless Fryers. If you have any questions or comments about this video, just leave them down in the comment section. Have a great afternoon.